Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. After Jerry Brown disobeys Trump's direct border order, Donald announces swift consequences. President Trump has officially put his foot down with Governor Jerry Brown in California. He said that the federal government will not be paying for California's National Guard soldiers to go to the border and do nothing. That was the right thing to say. Brown has no right to dictate to the federal government and the President of the United States what parts of the law he will follow and what parts he won't. It doesn't work that way. Brown was the last of the U.S.-Mexico border state governors to respond to Trump's request for personnel to assist in border security. That was an insult all by itself and on purpose. Somehow, Brown wants California's National Guard on the border, but he does not want them to help stop illegal aliens in any manner. That's just bananas. Brown recently issued an order that effectively narrowed the mission of his troops to combating criminal gangs, human traffickers and illegal firearm and drug smugglers. But not in stopping individuals illegally entering our country. California National Guard will not enforce immigration laws or participate in the construction of any new border barrier, Brown's order specified. He further noted that the federal government had agreed to pay for the deployment. No, they did not. Not on those terms. When President Trump called for National Guard soldiers to be deployed for border security, he specifically identified stopping the flow of illegal immigrants as one of the primary reasons for the request, in addition to combating drug smuggling and gang activity. Brown knows this and is trying to have it both ways here. President Trump wasted no time in responding to Brown's deployment order. He tweeted, Governor Jerry Brown announced he will deploy up to 400 National Guard troops to do nothing. The crime rate in California is high enough and the federal government will not be paying for Governor Brown's charade. We need border security in action, not words. Again, that was the right thing to do and say. Brown is lucky he's not being charged with breaking the law here. I would wager that President Trump will deploy those troops with modified orders that supersede those of Governor Brown. Trump wasn't done either. He gave credit where credit is due and lauded the efforts of local officials in California who have come out in opposition to making California a sanctuary state and the number of those officials is growing by the day. There is a revolution going on in California, Trump wrote. So many sanctuary areas want out of this ridiculous, crime-infested and breeding concept. Jerry Brown is trying to back out of the National Guard at the border, but the people of the state are not happy. Want security and safety now, San Diego County's Board of Supervisors have voted to file a court briefing siding with the Trump administration's lawsuit against California's sanctuary estate law. I freaking love that. Public safety is our number one priority, San Diego Board Supervisor Kristen Gaspar said. Here in San Diego it's important to note how our law enforcement's hands are being tied by SB 54. Yes, they are. But there are very good and patriotic people in California who are fighting back. Brown and his cadre of leftists won't win this fight. The suit challenges Senate Bill 54, or the California Values Act, which mandates a limit of cooperation between local law enforcement and federal immigration authorities. The county's all-Republican Board of Supervisors voted 3 to 1 in favor of the county filing an amicus brief in support of the Justice Department's suit. From WJ Politics We're sending a clear message to Governor Brown, Gaspar told the hosts of Fox & Friends first. Enough is enough. He needs to follow the Constitution. He can't attempt to undermine federal immigration laws by implementing local state laws that are having devastating impacts on the San Diego community that shares a border with Mexico. Here in San Diego we experience the impacts of human trafficking, weapons trafficking and drug trafficking across our border," she continued. And Governor Brown's policies are undermining public safety in San Diego and it's not right. And we're standing up against it. Orange County, which is located to the north of San Diego County, joined their fellow Californians and voted to be part of the Trump administration's suit against SB 54. Looks like the revolt is on. We cannot allow this to happen in Orange County and we need to protect our families and our homes here in Orange County," Board Supervisor Michelle Park Steele said of the law. And that means bolstering our cooperation with federal immigration enforcement and stopping our county from becoming a sanctuary for criminal illegal immigrants. She then introduced a resolution in opposition to the sanctuary state law. States cannot simply opt out of federal laws they don't like, Steele said. If tomorrow California decided that the First Amendment was a nuisance and passed legislation to restrict this constitutional right, Americans wouldn't accept the new law. The president is in the right here and if Jerry Brown continues to stonewall him, Trump should bypass the governor over this. California is not a country unto themselves. Federal law outweighs state law.
Brown would do well to remember that. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.